All right, so in this problem, we are given an expression and we are asked to simplify. Now, the first thing we can do in order to simplify is FOIL these two parentheses because there are two expressions in parentheses being multiplied to one another. So let's FOIL them out. So we have x to the power of 2 times x to the power of 5. We're going to take this first term and multiply it by the two terms in our second parentheses. So when we have the same base with with the same base with different exponents, we are going to be adding those exponents together. So we have x to the power of negative 2 times x to the power of 5, and if we add the exponents, we get x to the power of positive 3. Now we'll multiply x to the power of negative 2 times x to the power of positive 2. So that means that when we add the exponents together, we will get x, negative x to the power of 0. All right, now we'll take our second term, 2, and we'll multiply it by the two terms in our second parentheses. So we have 2 times x to the power of 5, which gives us 2x to the power of 5, and 2 times negative x squared, which gives us negative 2x squared. And now we can add our two terms outside of our parentheses, which is negative x to the third plus x squared. Now we have to combine like terms and simplify. So here we have x to the power of 3 and negative x to the power of 3, so those two terms will be canceling out. And we have x to the power of 5. We're always going to take a look at the highest exponent first and write it out. So we have 2x to the power of 5. And now let's combine our like terms of x to the power of 2. So we have negative 2 and a positive 1. And when we combine those like terms, we are left with a negative x to the power of 2. And x to the power of 0 simplifies to 1, so we are left with negative 1. So this will be our final answer, which corresponds with answer B, and that will be our final answer.